babysitter. Wake up. I got you. I made you something. It's uh, written over here. Let's see what it says. So, National Register of Historic Places, United States Department of the Interior, Staunton River State Park, 1936. Dividends for the future. Goodness, the thing is so faded. I want to go to Fairy Stone. Have you ever heard of Fairy Stone? They have like a waterfall there and um, they have like a whole history of like these stones being like unique, like shaped and everything. This is a historic landmark. What's that say? This park was supported by the Land and Water Conservation Funds, help state and communities provide outdoor recreations and open space for all Americans. Very cool. I like it. All right, so we got our parking pass, and we are going to go fishing at Staunton State Park. Easier to carry stuff? Yeah. Okay. The other one had like a beach sort of concept. Yeah, that's what I'm looking at. Alright. So this is one of the little camp areas where they do picnics and kids stuff. Water's a little choppy. Yeah, it's it's pretty energetic from what I'm seeing. Oh, they have a cute little puppy. Standing. Let me get over some more. Okay. So our fishing spot is over here, um, under a tree. There's a guy down here with four poles. Um, he said fishing is kind of slow today. So this is our setup. Oof! Nice! 23 pounder. I would love a 23 pounder. It's so pretty over there. That's the guy that was telling us what we can fish for over here. I think he just got another one. I can't hold my camera still. Whatever it is, he's fighting it. Did he get it? Oh, he got it. Good lord! Look at that thing! Look at us two cool fishy dudes. Robert. Say hi. Turn the camera around. So my biggest catch of the day was that stick and um, it ate my worm. So I had to <laughs> rebate and cast again. I'm very angry that that stick ate my worm. <laughs> Maybe bait um, hooked your fish right, um, 
cook your uh, bait rods then you'll be good. Yeah, probably. <laughs> the wind and everything is just like ridiculous today. Like we're trying to cast and we end up closer to shore than because we're casting against the wind. Yeah, you're like all the way over here now. You swallowed my hook. You butthead. Stop it. You swallowed my hook. I don't have one of those hook thingies like my mom does to pull them out of their stomachs. I got a catfish. He's so I'm gonna have to rehook this whole thing. He's just a little one, so I don't know if he's keepable size. What does it say about it? What kind is it? A canal catfish. Okay. Deeply forked tail, upper jaws longer than overlaps. And yeah, it, it definitely he's got an upper jaw thing. And then it also has um, right here, the spots are mm -hmm. faded when he gets older. Does it say size? No. Buddy, am I keeping you or not? I mean, you're a catfish. Yeah, we're keeping it. That's a good size. All right, I'll put him in the ice. Um, I'm going to have to just cut the line. It's going to have to be in his stomach because I can't pull it. All right, let me get a picture with me with him. Yep. So you got something? You do? Huh? <laughs> not in my face. <laughs> what is it? He's tiny. Oh, he's cute. What is he? Oh, Bait. he's adorable. Bait. Oh, that's a guy. Well, that was the only two that we got. Um, we got a lot of nibbles, like a lot, but they were just like skinning our, our, um, worms off the hooks. Like none of them were actually taking the hook. So we've got some very clever little fishies out here. Um, but it's been fun. It's very, very breezy. The wind has caused us not to be able to cast very far. So it's been very frustrating. Um. So I think the wind was just against us, the current was against us. The fish were conniving against us. They were colluding to eat our worms. Free buffet for them today, apparently. Um, saw a couple families out here playing with their kids and their dogs. Um, people on boats and stuff. So it's a very active little, I guess, lake. I think this is a lake. Um, so. It's been nice overall. Maybe next time, preferably not so much wind. <laughs> um, but we're packing up. Uh, it is roughly 4 p.m. And we're going to go home and figure out dinner. And we appreciate you guys coming fishing with us. Uh, it was fun for our second ever trip on our own. Trying to figure out how to fish on our own. So we will catch you guys in another video at another time. <laughs>